On today's tutorial, we learn how to automate camera panning live in OBS. Let's take a look. I'm Andy Lippy and welcome to StreamAid, the show that gives you all the best streaming tips that the pros want to keep a secret. Most importantly, there's no self-promotion, I'm here to teach, not to preach, but all my info is below if you do want to know. Let's get on with the show! If you're watching this video, you've already got OBS and you understand how to use it, this is more of an advanced guide. So what I need you to do is get a plugin downloaded. So let's take a look. The plugin's just here. The website is going to be in the link below. The uh, motion effect is what we're looking for on the obsproject.com. Hit the download button just there. It's pretty self-explanatory to get it installed. But if you do struggle at all, all the information is just here. As soon as you've got that installed, what we want to do is throw up into this beautiful place, OBS. I'm using Stream Elements just because I prefer it. Everything's in one place, which is lovely. So your OBS might look a little bit different, but don't worry, don't worry. What I'm gonna do is I've got a scene set up called YouTube Test just at the bottom here. And as you can see, it's just my webcam. It's my Logitech cam. What I'm gonna do is right click on the scene and go to filters. And you'll see my beautiful face pops up just here. What I'm gonna do is press the plus sign and add the motion effect because I've already got it installed. What I'm going to call this is YouTube Pan. Hit enter. Here you'll see the, that I can select a source. I'm going to use the Logitech cam there. I am going to be uh, doing another tutorial about zooming um, and different panning later on as well. So definitely check that one out. That's coming more for how to create natural zooms like the one that you just saw. So, trigger behavior, do you want it set up on a hotkey and only go one way, or do you want it to go round trip, so you want it to pan left and right, for instance? I'm going to use a round trip. Uh, the variation type, this is where you want it to change position, or the size, or both. I want it just to change position at the minute. And later on here, we've got custom starting setting. I do like to use this, because sometimes OBS gets a little bit confused, where your... Um, source is so I'm just gonna zoom in my source a little bit so I can pan right and I'm gonna actually start it I'm gonna say here so right on the edge there and what I can do is press populate destination with current source so there we go we've got minus four four six I'm gonna copy that into this top box because this is the starting position that's our starting position just here right the linear path I'm just gonna leave that as uh, the motion path for now and just until we've done the rest of this, I'm going to now move where I want my scene to end. So I want it to end just there. I'm going to press populate that destination. You see how that, um, in fact, I'm going to leave that exactly the same there. So I want it to be minus four, four, six on the Y axis. So I don't want it to move around on the Y axis. I just want it to move on the X axis. If I just press forward now, there we go. Got a simple pan of our camera, just there. What I can do is change the duration, so if I wanted it to be a little bit longer, a little bit slower, I could do so. What I can do is then get that set up on a hotkey, which I'll show you in a later tutorial on how to do. We change the acceleration, so if we want it to accelerate into it, or slow down, you see how it slowed down just towards the end? Same again there. So you get some really nice smooth effects that you wouldn't normally be able to get. What I can do as well is, remember the linear that I was telling you about on the motion path? I can give it, um, it a curve. So rather than going in a straight line to one end to the other, I can give it a bit of a curve. So I'm just gonna leave that as blank settings for now and show you. So you can get some nice really smooth movements. If you tinker around the control point, that tells you where it wants to um, be moving to in the curve. To, to kind of stipulate where, where it's going to move from and to and what path it's going to take. But that is pretty much exactly how to get a pan on there. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I like to keep it nice and easy. So there you have it, guys. That's how to create a pan effect in OBS. If you do have any questions at all, please let me know below or just drop into one of my streams and ask me face-to-face -face or, yeah, face-to-face. -face. You know what I mean. 
Uh, but until next time, there's going to be plenty of these sort of videos. The next video I will be doing is showing you how to do, create a zoom effect using the same plugin, just so you can get some smooth zooms just like this one. Similar to what I use on stream. So until next time, guys, put your rock over the stone. It's been a pleasure. See you soon.